Good day everyone, we have a video to show you about our micro teaching, but before that, here are our graphs. Goal, the student will able to formulate challenging situation involving sets and operation sets, and solve this in a variety of strategy in order to identify the commonalities and differences among them. Rule, teacher and students. Ogent, the target ogent is a grade 7 level. Situation, you need to describe well-defined sets and illustrate the different operation of sets. Performance or product purpose. The student are able to formulate challenging situation involving sets and solve this using Venn diagram to represent sets and operation sets. Standard and criteria for success. Your micro teaching should have knowledge of subject matter, communication skills or clarity, method of presentation, effective use of material or technology. Here are our rubrics for micro teaching. Good morning, class. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're fine. Uh, okay, that's great. So before we will proceed to our discussion, let us first have our prayer. Nilda, can you please lead the prayer? Yes, ma'am. Classmate, let us pray. In the name of Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us a healthy body and sound mind. We thank you for another opportunity to learn. Bless us with wisdom to understand our lesson and joy to learn with our classmates. Bless also our teacher as they impart us the value of learning. Keep us safe in your loving kindness. This we ask in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So now let us proceed to our attendance. Say present if your name is called. Arsenio? Present, ma'am. Yendo? Present, ma'am. Dado? Present, ma'am. Tasin? Present, ma'am. Wow, perfect attendance. That's great. So before our discussion this afternoon, let us first have a recap. So last meeting, what is our discussion all about? Anyone? Um, last meeting, ma'am, we discussed all about sets and how can we present it. Yes, that's correct. So any one of you um, can state how can we represent set? Me, ma'am. Yes. Statement form, rose term form, and set building form, ma'am. Yes, very good class. So it seems that we really understand our topic last meeting. And today we'll have another discussion. But before I will tell you the topic, let us first have a game. Are you excited? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma so the name of our game is Guess What? So here is our mechanics. So you will guess the word or phrase in the box. You just need to tell me the letters of the word. Each word has something to do with our topic today. So... Here, choose a letter that I think is in the box. And no. And you. Yes, very good. Next letter. Um, e. E. Yes, oh. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Union, ma'am. What? Union. I would union? Guess, yeah, union. Okay, let's reveal it. Yes, correct answer, Celeste. It's union. Next one. Mother. I, ma'am, I. I. Next, E. Oh. Eagle. E. It's also there. Another? T. E. T. E. N. Wow. N. Wow. Ooh. And you guess? Um, me, ma'am, reveal. Yes, we know that. Intersection. Oh. Intersection. So let's see if you are correct. Wow, very good. The answer is intersection. So next. Oh. C. Oh. Yes, it's there. C? M, C. Ma. C. M, M. 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 Whoa, okay. Eagle, ma'am. Eagle? E. Eagle. Yes. Oh, you're so smart. I'm guessing, huh? T. T. Wow, no wrong. So, can you guess the word? Reveal, ma'am. Ma. Compliment, ma'am. Compliment. It's compliment. And so, let's see. <laughs> Yes, class, your answer is correct. It's compliment. Last one. Let's have another word, okay? So give me a letter. F. -S. Yes. What? E. To F. A. What? E. A. I know. I know. There. Um, it's set. What? what? Sets. Sets. Let's see if it is sets. Well, very good, class. You're so good in guessing. The answer is sets. You get it all. For our game, the 
that we have today. What do you think our lesson this morning? Anyone? Um, for me, Mom, our lesson for today is all about sets and basic operations of sets. Very good. Our lesson is all about that sets and basic operation of sets. But before that, let us read them our objective. Miss Giando, kindly read the objective. Okay, Mom. For knowledge, describe and illustrate well defined sets, subsets, universal set, and the null set. And for the skills, perform set of operations union and intersection of sets and for the attitude shows operation in the given activity very good so do you have any what is the set anyone um for me mom set is a well-defined group of object called elements that share common characteristic man yes a set is well defined of group of objects called the element share a common characteristic so there's a group of object and well defined because of they share the common characteristic and that object called element of a set. So there's a symbol of an element and there's the symbol of not an element. So we have an example here. Example number one, vowel in the English alphabet. So class, what is the vowel in the English alphabet? Miss Bianda? A, A, E, I, O, U. Very good. So we have element of A, E, I, O, U. So that are called of element of a given set. Another example. There's seven prime numbers. So what is the first prime seven numbers? Mr. Prado. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, ma'am. Very good. So we have a we have an element of 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. That are called elements of a given set. So do you have any question, class? None so None far, so ma'am. Ma we will talk about types of sets. So types of sets are classified according to the number of elements they have. So sets are the collection of elements of the same type. For example, a set of a prime number, natural number, and etc. So the first set of that type is finite set. So it contains the definite number of elements. It also can be a non-empty. It calls non-empty finite. So for example, 1, 3, 5, 7. So these are example of finite with four elements. In second type of set is infinite. So a set which contains infinite number of elements. And it's also called as a given set is not finite. So example, 1, 2, 3, 4. The next set is subset. So set X is a subset of set Y, written as X subset Y. If every element of X is a subset, an element of set Y. So can you give an example, Mara Asin? Yes, ma'am. For example, 1, for us, X set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And for Y sets is 1 and 2. Thank you, Mara Asin. So for the example is, number 2 is let X, 1, 2, 3, and Y, 1, 2. Three. So for the next set of type is empty set or null set. So it contains elements and it denoted by pi. As the number of elements is in an empty set is finite, empty set is of infinite. So the cardiality is empty set or set null set is set as zero. For example, the X is flying frogs. The next is the operation of sex. Okay, so we are done discussing the types of set. Now let's move on to the operations of set. So the first one is the union. The union of set A and B is the set of items that are in, in neither A or B. So the notation is A union to B. So example, so set A is equals to 1, 2, 3. Set B is equals to 4, 5, 6. So A union to B is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So you all, all you have to do is to combine all the elements. Next is the intersection. So the intersection of sets A and B is the set of items that are in both A and B. So the notation is A intersection B. So example, A is equals to 1, 2. And B is equals to 1, 2. So A intersection B is equals to 1, 2. So you have only to copy 1, 1, and 1, and 1, 2. Because when you are doing intersections, you only copy one element at a time. And next is the 
complement. The complement of set A is the set of items that are in the universal set, which is U, but are not in A. So, the notation is A complement. So, example, set U is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And set A is equal to 4, 6, and 8, 10. Then, the complement of set A is equals to A complement is equals to 2, 10, and 12. So, 2 and 10 and 12 are the only elements which cannot be found in set A. The fourth operation is the, the difference. So, the difference of set A and B is the set of items that are in A but not in B. So, the notation is A minus B. Example, element A is equals to 1, 2, 3. Element B is equals to 2, 3, and 4. So, A minus B is equals to 1. Okay, class. I already discussed to you the four basic operations of set. Now, let us apply our learning by solving the following problems. But, um, I have here two ways on how to solve a set, a problem involving set as silly. So, the first one is using a Venn diagram. So, here are our first problem. First, we have to find the intersection of set A and set B. But before that, we have to put our elements in their um, specific location. For example, in set A, we have the pentagon. So we'll put pentagon here. Then, we have also here hexagon. But hexagon can be also found in, found in set B. That is why we'll put hexagon in the center. It means hexagon is the intersection of set A and set B. Then, we have um here the octagon in set a then we have here in set b we have hexagon which is in the center we have also then heptagon and the nonagon so we have the heptagon and the nonagon so we all know that whatever the elements which is found in the center is the intersection of both uh, element A and B. Therefore, our A intersection to B is equals to an element of hexagon. Next, we have to find the intersection of the set A and C. So, here our set A, we have pentag um, pentagon. We have pentagon, so we'll put pentagon here. We also have here uh, hexagon. Hexagon, we'll put hexagon in set A. I'll put set M. So we'll put hexagon here. And we will also hear the octagonagon. Let's put nonagon here. So as we can see in our diagram, there is no element we're in um found in set A and set B. Therefore our A intersection to C is equals to null null set or no elements but there is also another way on how to solve um, problem involving set which is to use a set calculator here so for example number one um set a is a set of all the letters found in the word love so we'll put it here set b is equals to um set of letters of the word o we have h comma o then p then e so, if you want to find the intersection or um, intersection of the word um, love and hope, you will press here, intersection. And you can see that letter O, uh, element O and E is found in the word love and in the word hope. But if you want to find their difference, you can click it here. So, we have L and V. Then we have also, you can also find here the union. So, the union is L, O, V, E, H, and V. B. So that's the two way on how to solve problems involving set. Okay class, for today's activity, please group yourself into four. I will give you 15 minutes to answer this problem. In the class, 24 play ROS, 15 play PUBG, 11 play both video games, and 17 play neither. How many learners are in the class? After that, Present and explain your answer and you will be graded using the rubrics. And here are the rubrics. Here are the criteria. For excellent, we have 25 points. For very good, we have 20 points. For good, we have 15 points. For needs work, we have 10 points. And for poor, we have 5 points. And for the excellent, we'll be graded as well organized, understand the problem, 
all the solution and illustration are correct, complete, clear, and understand. Uses appropriate units and show details in his or her work. For very good, is organized. The answer and solution are illustrated are accurate. For good, constructing the right strategies and solution and illustration but not clear. For not work, contain incorrect solution but ap applies mathematical appropriate process lacks content and lastly for the poor no works of value difficult to understand the solution and illustration okay now go to your group okay class time is up group one please present your answer and explain it so good morning ma'am so this is the member of group one so arsenio cobrado mara asin and when you now so next please so in a class of 24 plays ros and 15 play pubg 11 play both video games and 17 play neither how many learners are in the class so the solution is first we must give the given um the cardinality of r which is stands for the one who play ros is equals to 24 the cardinality of e which is the one who play pbu bg which is equals to 15 and then the cardinality of intersections of r and p which is 11 which means the play both video games and the cardinality of r intersection of p complements is equals to 17 which is they play neither ros nor pbu bg so the first thing we must to do is to draw a rectangle which represents the set of u then after that we must to draw a circle which represents the value of r and another circle which overlap that represents the value of p so in between the value of r and p we have to write 11 which is they are the students who play both video games so there are 24 students who play ros so uh, 24 minus 11 is equals to 13 therefore there are 13 students who play ros game then there are 15 students who play PUBG. So 15 minus 11 is equals to 4. How to get 17? So 13 plus 4 is equals to 17. So to get to find the value of the cardinality of set U is equals to the um, the cardinality of set R plus the cardinality of P minus the cardinality of the intersection of set R and P plus the cardinality of the complement of the union of R and P. So uh, cardinality of set U is equals to 13 plus 11 plus 4 plus 17 plus uh, is equals to 45. Therefore, there are 45 learners in the class. Okay, thank you, group one. According to your presentation, all the solution is correct, well organized, and your work shows detail. So, I will give you your perfect score of 25. Congrats. Okay, class. Um, is there any questions before we proceed to your quiz? None so far, ma'am. So far, ma'am. Okay. Now, for your quiz, I will give you 10 minutes to answer. Please join the link in the quizzes and the code provi provided on the chat box. You may now go to the quizzes and start your quiz. Okay class, that's all for today. I hope you learned for today's discussion. For your assignment, please answer the following that's seen in your screen. After that, pass it on your Moodle. Is there any question or clarification? Yes, okay, see you next meeting and I will upload your assignment in the Moodle. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye.